In the state of Florida, a club has emerged during the past few years. Their complex is one of the largest indoor facilities in the southeast of America, the YMCA Aquatic Center. Focused on a rising US club, the YCF Underwater Hockey in Orlando. Despite the club is recent, the idea of creating it lasted for a very long time. Lucky Meisenheimer is a board member of the center since 1992. He remembers how the idea was suggested to him for the first time. Because about 20 years ago, a guy came to me. I was the coach here of the master swimming team. He left me an old VHS tape, one stick and an old puck, which looks completely different than the ones we use now and says, I want to tell you about the sport of underwater hockey. I'd like to get a program going here because this is such a big center. An idea that stayed an idea for decades because that man created a program in another city. Well, the guy never came back. I never did it or heard about it again until this guy called me like 20 years later. He said, well, every time I talk to the aquatics director, they push me off and I've been asking for two years. Two years of waiting that ended with a 10 minute talk. I said, well, let me make a phone call. So I called the executive director and said, hey, you don't have any problem with starting a program, you know, blah, 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 blah. He says, no. He says, when do you want to start? I said, how about Friday? He says, fine. And so began the story of the YCF club, a club with its proper identity. We want to be a pure team. We want to get players that aren't just taking the best players from different teams and putting them together in a, you know, kind of an all-star team. We want everybody, we want Orlando people playing for Orlando and have a real pure team and be able to uh, go out there and compete. Orlando has one of the fastest pools in the USA. A great court to practice and compete. Oh no, this is a perfect venue for uh, underwater hockey because whether it's just a club, a, a practice during the week like tonight, um, we can reconfigure the pool very easily. They're very, again, welcoming to us and so we can make it a good place for underwater hockey. And then when we want to host a larger tournament, we've got all the facilities to be able to do that. Orlando hosted the USA Nationals 2019, where they finished at an encouraging fifth place of the A division. And if we could say one thing about the player, it's that they were motivated. We have a lot of um, very, very good potential players here who want to make it to the next level. And we're, we're hungry for it, we want it, we're dying to get up to that A-level, and we just want to show everyone what we're made of. And why chasing far away when you got sportsmen and women in your own center? Lucky seems to have found the perfect solution. Give me a water polo player and a swimmer, and in six months I can make them into a good underwater hockey player. Guys like uh, Nate here who plays on the men's water polo team, one of our strongest players in underwater hockey, a great recruit for Orlando, because sometimes searching for new players is very similar to fishing. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you got to lure them in little by little. Then you set the hook and then, you know, <laughs> then you got them. They're hooked. Will the fishing go well and the rise of the YCF club continue? Time will tell. <laughs>